These are tough times for Dijon, who have lost nine consecutive games in Ligue 1 Uber Eats and haven't won at home all season. They're rock bottom, 13 points from safety, and it's no longer a question of if they'll be relegated, but when. Their opponents on Sunday, Rance, are faring much better, and a couple more wins should secure a fourth consecutive season of top-flight football. The Champagne Club began the weekend eight points above the relegation playoff place, looking to extend their five-game unbeaten streak. And yet it was Loli Dijon who had the game's first chance. A nice one-two here between Roger Asale and Sasha Bowie. And it was almost an own goal, actually, from a Wout face. The Belgians become a key figure at the heart of the Rance defence. Nice bit of work down the right-hand side here. And Fais almost putting it into his own net. Now, meanwhile, Yassine Benzi was making his first start in over a year for Dijon after sustaining a serious hand injury. And he had a sight of goal here. Couldn't find the targets after playing a 1-2 with Asale. But great to see Benzia back in action after that long injury layoff. Dijon on the eighth side in Ligue 1 Uber Eats history to win as few as two games this far into the season. The first seven going on to be relegated. And it was Rance who took the lead five minutes into the second half after this effort from Gisland Konot. Spilled by Anthony Rassiopi and Budai Dia took full advantage. Dia finally ending his 10-match scoring drought in Ligue 1 Uber Eats. Getting his 13th goal of the campaign. But Conan was able to just slice his way through the defence there. And Rassiopi won't want to see that one again in a hurry. Putting the ball right back into the danger zone. Thank you very much, said Dia as he made it 1-0 to Rass. A bit harsh on Dijon, given that they had had the better chances in the first half. Trying to get something from the game here. Substitute Frederic Samaritano out to Boe on the right, and it was another substitute, Musa Kanate, who headed just wide in the 83rd minute. That could have been the equaliser, but he just couldn't steer it on targets. And 1-0 was the final score, a 10th consecutive loss for Dijon. They've now matched the all-time record of 16 games without victory in the top flight, previously held by Troyes. They're one step closer to the second tier, while Rouse are one step closer to safety.